Well, the mum fields aren't quite blooming yet, but we still have some stuff to do. Ron, this is dispatch. going on everybody still got some late season flowers to deliver and I'm finally off the road back on flowers which I'm real excited about that and, uh, and we got stuff that's got to go truck go hook up to my other trailer and uh, wait to get loaded uh, I was supposed to be loaded earlier today but then they said it was gonna be later today and uh, now they're telling me it's gonna be even later so it's gonna be a late night but that's all right let's get her done got my packet we have nine drops all in Oklahoma it's not quite ready yet but I'm gonna go uh, get in the truck fix me some lunch chill for about an hour and then go up to my uh, trailer and, uh, and get a move on looks like it's gonna be a late night I thought they wouldn't have anything till next week but they need me back here as quick as they can uh, we got another load at now Friday morning uh, which is a day later than they would like to but it's gonna be several stops up in Arkansas and Missouri so, uh, so yeah, late night tonight. Well, let's throw in a little episode of Cooking with Ron. Um, my buddy uh, Jim Davis, Trucker Jim on YouTube, check him out. He puts out some pretty good videos. I enjoy watching his stuff. He's, uh, he's very entertaining. I don't know how he does it, but I have one of these uh, things from Walmart here. It's called a Rapid Mac Cooker. Uh, comes in a little package like that right there. And supposedly you can cook your uh, macaroni and cheese in the microwave. I have not done this yet. I don't know how Jim does it, but it tells you to add the macaroni, fill the water to the uh, fill line, throw it in the microwave for a couple minutes, stir it up, add your ingredients, throw it in there again, and it should be done. Now Jim, in his little cooking episode, he was adding tuna. And I didn't feel like watching the whole video again to find out which tuna it was, but I did find some flavored tunas, and what I'm going to try is this Thai chili style. So we'll, uh, let's, uh, let's cook this up and, uh, and see how it ends up for lunch. Throw the macaroni in there. Give it a time cook. Two and a half minutes. Where the hell is start? Start. All right, here we go. All right, that was uh, two and a half minutes. It says to stir it up, get everything loosened up, and put it back in there for two more minutes. So let's see how it works out. Of course, microwave times vary. I threw it in for another minute. wasn't quite tender enough. All right. Well, that seemed to do it. Seems to be pretty tender now. We're going to add a little bit of butter to it. Of course, you never measure the butter. You just stick it in there, get it all stirred in, and get it off the dang fork. I guess I should have used a knife, huh? <clears throat> Add a little bit of milk. Add 
and of course the powdered real imitation cheese whatever it is let's get her stirred up and see how it turns out turned out pretty good let's um, add the tuna to it and Ooh, that stuff stinks. I shouldn't say it stinks. Just not what I was expecting it to smell like, but I don't know what exactly I expected it to smell like. But it's got to be better than just a plain old tuna fish sandwich, I would think. Well, there we go. Thai chili style tuna macaroni and cheese a sunkist orange juice you got lunch in under 10 minutes so this episode of cooking with ron is brought to you by trucker jim jim thanks a lot man i appreciate your videos and uh and i've done some other recipes too i just didn't feel like videoing them but uh, go check out trucker jim I think you'll really like his uh, like his stuff. I think he's listed under Trucker Jim's Adventures or something like that. And uh, I think he's got a like page on Facebook also. But, much time. All right. Get hooked up to 9108. Three trips done. Let's see what we're taking. at the moment. Awesome. Really pretty late season flowers. I suspect they still got to be wrapped in plastic. Or maybe not. Who knows? They're waiting on something to get them on my truck, though. All right, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I dropped off uh, seven carts here. Got everything strapped down already and get this lift. Lifted back up, folded in. <clears throat> I was hoping to make it here last night and I could have, I had plenty of time, but I got a late start and I, I was kind of tired. So I, um, I headed this way and I got about an hour out and we had some really bad storms um, come through Interstate 40 and the winds were blowing pretty high. Uh, they were blowing me with these light loads, you know, they really, they really blow us around quite a bit. So I went ahead and pulled over and grabbed some shut eye and got up this morning and, and headed up here. So we'll uh, get this all locked down and uh, now we're off to Oklahoma City. Well, I'm leaving uh, Lawton, Oklahoma, uh, which was my final drop. I got 50 carts off. Um, did Oklahoma City, several places around Oklahoma City, and uh, this was my final drop. I ended up with just a little under 40 carts, which I was really surprised there were that many, but I got them, and I did leave a few early on. Uh, but I'm heading back to Henderson now. According to the map book, it's going to take me about five and a half hours. According to my clock, I'm sorry, according to my map book, it's going to take me about five hours. And according to my clock, I've got about five hours and 40 minutes left. So uh, hopefully we don't have any, uh, any traffic or construction or anything to hold me up. And I'll be able to make it back there tonight, get in my 10-hour break, and uh, get this next run off tomorrow. Kind of disappointed. I broke my damn CB antenna off. I was going through the Home Depot there on, I think it's Elgin is where it is. It's downtown, and they're uh, they're working on the parking lot there. So they've got things combed off and kind of forces you to go. And I ended up having to go under a low hanging tree, and I didn't think about my antenna and just broke it right in half. So I need to find me another one. It was kind of disappointing. I haven't had my CB all day. But anyway, we're going to haul ass and, uh, and see if we can't make it back in time. And, uh, and I'll let you know. Well, I made it back. I went into violation right as I pulled into the yard. So no harm, no foul. I, uh, 
I was just beat tired last night, didn't, didn't do the video, so I figured I'd end it today and I'll get her uploaded sometime today. Um, and I'm off to a new adventure. I'm gonna stop in here, give me a cup of coffee, a breakfast sandwich, and then I'm heading into Arkansas. Uh, 15 drops, I don't know how many miles, I haven't figured it up yet, but uh, I doubt I'll do a video on that one. Uh, the, pro the videos are probably gonna slow up a little bit now that I'm back on flowers, but I'll probably do an ice cream with her on or two uh, every now and again and see what's up. But for again, for all of you, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, leave your questions and your comments in the bottom. I read every single comment and uh, sometimes I'll even answer you. So until next time, I'm Buck Rub.